Well, for heaven's sake, this present time we're moving into this electric age is the dawn of much the greatest of all human ages. There's nothing to even remotely resemble the scope of, of human awareness and human no, no, there, greatness in there this There we time. are, a value judgment. You know, I'm talking about, this is quantity. Marshall, Most first. people make their judgments in terms of quantity. Now, I'm, that's, uh, I, I'm merely saying quantitatively, this is by far the greatest human age. Uh, what ch uh, further valuations would you wish to have uh, brought to bear? Well, well I yeah. thought when you said greatest, you meant finest. That is, oh. it would be oh. biggest, oh. more admirable than no, no. Renaissance, well, I mean, Florence, uh, or something. Uh, Do you mean biggest? Uh, uh, yes, uh, we're a thousand uh, times greater than the Victorian age. In size. In size. But not in quality. I don't know. You don't know. We may not, no. be, we, you know, there might be some way, I mean, let, let's say if there is a good lord, it's possible he might measure these epics by how a uh, a handful of air uh, appeals to him. In other words, he might, he might take a handful of air out of one epic and say, marvelous air. Yes. He might take it out of ARP air and say, you know, automobile exhaust. Contrary to what Marshall has so brilliantly suggested in all his writing, I think there are absolute standards in this thing, culture, in art and literature. And that uh, these standards, you can measure one age against another. And that we happen to have lived no great misfortune really we happen to have lived in what amounts to a dark ages we're a highly integral civilization uh, and this is what distresses people who belong to the old specialist disintegrated one they, they can't find a little place for themselves yes, but are you sure you see are you absolutely sure that this is the birth struggle of a new Oh, yeah. Are you absolutely sure that it's not just the break? Uh, no, the not just the break There's a wonderful book by uh, Hab Eric Havelock called uh, Preface to Plato, mm. in which he uh, he just mentions in passing that what Socrates' uh, uh, great contribution was to the dialectic was uh, uh, the uh, ability to say, "Would you mind repeating that, please?" Mm. This kind, the Socratic irony, the Socratic questioning, was a playback. Mm. With the coming of writing, the possibility of playback came into human society for the first time. <laughs> Socrates was very much a product of technology, yeah. new technology. Well, I wouldn't uh, dispute that, Marsh. I wouldn't, wouldn't presume to dispute it.